Well, I am looking rather bridal-esque in these gorgeous silk pyjamas um, and I'm not mad about that in the slightest. Um, I wanted to say a huge thank you for all of the love on my hair. I think I was preparing myself to feel really self-conscious having the extensions taken out. Obviously I only had them in for about three months um, and it's taken me a lot of time to get used to the sort of like thickness of my hair again. But um, oh, the convenience of it has been really, really good. And I also love the fact that it's just accelerated my hair growth so much. Like I feel like I'm in a really nice length with my hair. Like it still feels really nice and put together, um, but healthy, which is the, the main goal that I've been focus on, focusing on, especially this year. Um, hence why I've been using loads of oils and things like that. But I'm getting packed for a trip. Ali and I are heading to um, the Grove in Watford. You'll know that we've had we've been there a few times um, over the years. And it's one of those places that I'm super like, I'm super fond of because I grew up in that area. And I remember when it sort of opened and it was like the pinnacle. Like I could only have dreamed of ever going somewhere like that. So now that we go there, both as customers, like Ali and I have paid to stay there, but also we go there with work as well. It's, it's a bit of a moment for me to head back to my home area, like hometown and stay in what is one of the nicest hotels in the area is quite quite something. Uh, we're doing a quick overnight this time just to experience their new like mansion rooms and things like that. Um, and then we have to quickly hop off to an event at Blenheim Palace. But I wanted to show you some new in pieces from Lily Silk. So I thought I would get this in at the beginning of the video super quickly so that I can show you because I'm sure that if you're in England, you will be maybe a little bit, I'm hoping you're not, but you might be uh, struggling a little bit with the weather at the moment. Um, I'm someone that tries really, really hard to see the positives in every, every season, no matter what the sort of weather we're dealt. I know that when the weather like this in, is like this in the UK, it's particularly difficult for a lot of people. And so one of the things that I'm trying to do is spend as much time as possible being cozy. One of the other things I've realized as well, it's so much easier to put a positive spin on being like with it raining and the weather not being that great when you're at home. But when you actually have to go out in it, it's a bit more difficult. However, my hack is to plan my hair that's first and foremost, plan my hair so that my hair can't be ruined by the rain. So if I can put it in a bun or a ponytail or something that isn't gonna bother me if it gets ruined. That's my first tip because rain and hair is always, it's just a recipe for disaster for so many women. We spend so much time looking beautiful on our hair, getting it done, getting it blow dried, styling it, whatever you do. And then you go out in the rain and you're like, well, I spent all that time. So that's my first tip. My second tip is to have appropriate clothing. Um, so things that are waterproof, a nice coat to put over the top. Obviously at this time of year, it's difficult because it's still warm, but something that's gonna keep you dry because then that leads on to point three, which is trying to sort of embrace the weather for what it is. If you're prepared in your hair and your clothing and as much as you can around the weather, then um, you can kind of embrace its beauty. So I love the sound of rain. I love, this is gonna sound so cringe, but I love almost imagining that I'm in one of those scenes of my life where it's very emotive and, um, you know, I probably put some music in and really kind of escape into the storybook of my life. That's probably weird, but it's one of those things that I think um, almost gives a little bit of enjoyment to something that might usually be um, an inconvenience. Um, but just a few little things there to, to help you sort of do it if you have to go out and about. But if you're at home, coziness is where it's at for me. I know that Ali and I are preparing to pretty much have like a cozy Saturday on the sofa with pajamas, blankets, doggies, cats, fires on, that kind of thing. So pajamas are going to play heavily into that. And I have such a beautiful like color palette of pajamas to show you. First being first, my sort of color of choice at the moment. Now I am an autumn color palette. You were there when I went to um, Madrid and I had my colors done with the amazing El Corte Inglés team. And I am an autumn palette. So actually, even though I love white, ivory is my color. And these ivory pajamas that are beautifully piped in white from Lily Silk are spectacular. I just walked downstairs and Ali goes, wow, they are nice pajamas. I was like, thanks. 
and I have them in many different colours, but ivory is my favourite. And you'll be shocked to hear that because there is also a sage green which I'm planning to pack with me for my trip, so you'll probably see those as well. Um, they are 100% silk, as Lily Silk does. All of their emphasis is on the quality and the beautifulness of their fabrics and it's something that they champion. They don't waste either, so you'll find an array of silk goods on their website, whether it's silk scrunchies, silk hair ties, um, sleep masks, masks, because all of the cutoffs of the fabrics are used to make other items as well. So that they're doing as much as possible to A, keep waste down, but also champion using these beautiful fabrics. They also do things like cashmere as well, which I have one of the most beautiful cashmere sets to show you. Now I have my discount code, so I'll get it in early. Now, if you're thinking of stocking up for some pajamas with the coming season coming, I know that everyone is thinking about sort of those autumn vibes because it's been so wet and um, windy in the UK. I'm sure there's lots of people thinking about Christmas and thinking about autumn. So if you're thinking about maybe adding a few more items of um, pajamas or loungewear, I've got some amazing pieces but I will link these pajamas down below. They are a full length pajama. And I would always suggest with things like silk pajamas, because they are not uh, stretchy in any way, I would always size up purely for comfort. When you're lying in bed, you don't want to feel restricted. They still look beautiful. And the cut of these is almost like suiting. It fits on my shoulders so perfectly. I am in love. So I have my discount codes. You can get 12% off with Millen 12. So that's buying anything, you can get 12% off. So if you just want to buy one set of pajamas, etc., etc., then you can get 12% off with Millen 12. There is also another discount code. You can only use one or the other. So if you spend over $350, you can get 15% off with 15 Millen. So depending on how you're spending, what you're buying, how much, you can use the code which perfectly fits your basket. So if you're not spending over 350 million 12, if you're spending over 15 million, super easy, beautiful way to make a bit of savings as well on some wonderful fabrics. Now, I like to think of these particular pieces as like investment pieces, but investment pieces that um, you don't necessarily need to keep buying and buying and buying. Once you have a selection of good quality pajamas in fit, in style and in fabric, you're pretty much set. So choose the colors that you're probably going to feel the most beautiful in, choose the fabrics that you're gonna feel most lovely in, and also um, as many as you kind of need. I like to have a fresh pair of pajamas every night. That is just me, Ali hates it, but that is me. So I've always got, um, a selection of pajamas in the colors that I like in my drawers. And ivory is my absolute favorite. So I thought I would show these off as the, at the beginning of the video. Um, and I'm gonna pop on a few other colorways as well. And then we're gonna get into the cashmere, silk, daywear, those kinds of things. So yeah, next, next ones. Next up, we have the classic navy, which is again in the same style as the ivory with the beautiful white piping, 100% silk and absolutely stunning. Um, I would say that if you're not looking to introduce a Christmas day specific pair of pajamas, a classic navy is a great deep rich tone that you can wear all winter, all year long really, whereas the red does tend to feel quite specific to Christmas. I've also got a red pair if you're looking to pick up a beautiful pair of Christmas day pajamas super early and get prepped. I feel like this weather is just making me want to prep for everything. Um, but the navy is a good option if you're thinking more of like, I wanna get the wear out of my pajamas and I don't want any sort of specific pair for one day of the year. I think they look so timeless, so elegant, and you could even wear these out. That's the thing that I love. You know, the whole pajama look, wearing out, uh, pajama wear as outerwear, this works for that perfectly as well. So just an option, but the most beautiful quality. Oh, this is the red pair of Lily Silk silk pajamas, but I don't know if it's gonna come across on this camera because sometimes this camera warms things up, but it's looking to me like it's looking super red. These are actually more of like a deep cherry red. So it kind of does remind me of like Rouge H by, um, from Hermes. And I love this, really, really love this. And you know, I'm big on Christmas day pajamas, but you could easily wear the ivory ones as well. They're all very sort of rich, deep colors. Those emerald tones work super well at 
um, those more spandangly times of year, but I wanted to show you these ones on as well. I'm probably gonna save these for Christmas Day um, just because they are so, so special. And this color is the dream. It's so beautiful, autumnal and wintry. I just think it's gorgeous. But now let's get into the more sort of cashmere wear and clothing. This is definitely autumn, winter Lydia locked and loaded. You'll know that my style is very uber feminine in um, some like spring, summertime. There's a lot of like linens, silks, um, ruffles, frills, florals, that kind of thing. Whereas Autumn Winter Lydia has uh, a bit more of a tailored edge. So there's a lot more tailored trousers, blazers, long line structured coats, that kind of thing. Generally much more timeless, but um, this is a very Autumn Winter Lydia look. These trousers are the absolute dream. They are so comfortable and so soft. They're 100% wool. The lining is 100% silk. Um, they fit beautifully on the waist. I've teamed them with some Chanel pumps. And then if the trousers are not your vibe, then hopefully these uh, roll necks because these are an essential. This is a blend of cashmere and silk. So what that does is often cashmere can be quite itchy. This is not itchy in the slightest and it's super thin, super lightweight. So this is a great piece for layering under coats, keeping warmth in, but still um, looking sort of streamlined, finished beautifully and just touching it is like unbelievable. So this kind of quality for the price point is incredible. And I think that this is something that I'm exploring a lot more at the moment in terms of rather than looking at fashion as like luxury, I'm looking at it as quality. So if the price tag necessarily doesn't match the quality, um, it's it's not going to be sort of a go. But if I can get the quality for a cheaper price tag, then that's it doesn't matter whether that constitutes as luxury or not. It just it does its job and this is one of those pieces. I don't need to go and spend however much in Chanel for this um, just to get this kind of quality. So, and, and this is one of the things that I've spoken a lot about on this channel in terms of a lot of the time when we're buying luxury items, the quality doesn't match the luxury pieces. Like I, I, I've been guilty of it and it's something I'm trying to be more conscious of. It's not something I'll never do, but um, I'm just trying to be better with it. And in terms of buying these pieces that don't have labels all over them, but the, the fabric and the silhouette and the quality is there. So this is, oh, and you've got my discount codes as well. This makes a great work outfit, I would say, but what I would like to have done is style this with my vintage Kelly in the Rouge H. Obviously I don't have winter shoes other than boots that team with that at the moment. Um, I need to find some pumps or I might get some made at Emmy London. But for the most part, this is a very, very classic um, style sort of work, suiting, smart outfit. You can obviously add blazers to the top if you wanted to. This is just a little pop of ivory to give a slight amount of contrast. And I think that is super classic very very smart these are the types of trousers and top that will live in your wardrobe forever i always say that suiting for me is something that you can't really go wrong in bringing into your wardrobe more often than not you may have items like this already and that's the thing i'm showing you how possibly you can reintroduce them into your wardrobe but if you don't have items like this it's, it's a great way to get a quality fabric and a beautiful suited silhouette um, for this kind of price point in, in these kinds of beautiful fabrics as well. Bearing in mind, these are the same types of fabrics that I like go to Suster and Hicks and ask for my tailored made to measure pieces. So yes, these are the same styles of fabrics, which is just nuts. And this is a beautiful Prince of Wales check as well. So you're gonna have a lot of detail in the trousers, whereas you've got this classic style, but Prince of Wales, that, that kind of check is not going out of fashion ever. I can tell you that right here, right now. Um, so yeah, this is a good one. Cute, you could also go for black shoes. Wearing skirts like this has been something that I've loved during the summer and I don't want it to be something that I only do during the summer as well. So I really wanted to get some ivory colored knitwear that I could pair with these skirts and wear them almost in the same way, this really sort of modern, way but with my vintage pieces i also think that these colors would look so beautiful with my oxblood um rouge h 
um, as uh, Kelly, but I need to get the shoes and then it'll be fine. But so I popped it with the Chanel, which I also think is super classic. Uh, the Chanel pumps, I've had these for about, I think like six years, five or six years. And they're still going strong, super, super comfortable. And then just a black bag, vintage uh, belt from Hermes, black Hermes uh, Cellier Birkin. And um, again, just really, really great for that transitional period, but warm as well. This is a pure cashmere roll neck with a beautiful classic uh, cable knit design, which I think is gonna be so beautiful for pairing with items like this to give it more of a texture as well. Now, this is a real standout piece. This is a wool and silk mix coat. It's kind of like a trench coat, but oh, I feel like if I can capture this up close with how beautiful the fabric is, I actually think that you can wear this as a dress. Like this is so easily like a beautiful knee length LBD because it's super lightweight. It's gonna keep you so warm because of the wool and also super soft because of the silk. Um, and also temperature regulating with the silk as well. So a really, really good transitional piece, but I feel like this is so, so classic. And like, you can add all black accessories, even this hat, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. Like this, I mean, this is a look. This is such a, different look if you were to go to like a race day and want to wear like a really classic all black outfit. Obviously in winter, transitioning this to winter, you could wear it with black tights or brown tights, black boots. You could have a roll neck dress underneath it to add a layer of comfort and also just this adds such a beautiful amount of detail to it, which I just think this is like that super, super classic vibe, super elegant and in beautiful materials. I, I think this is probably my favorite piece in this entire thing, apart from all of the coziness. <laughs> and this really is my dream knitted set for just wearing around the house, but most importantly for me when I travel, especially if I'm doing like long haul, I won't actually travel in this. I mean, you absolutely can. Um, there are no rules, but for me, I wear something that I'm comfortable in and then I change on the flight into something like this. I keep it in my hand luggage. These are high-waisted knitted trousers. This literally never happens. They're never this high-waisted. I've also got them in this beautiful kind of like fawn color, um, which I've packed, so I'll show you later on in the video. But this is the turn of dreams, and then I've teamed it with this sort of color coordinating cable knit jumper, but there are other iterations of this jumper that you can pair with it as well. Or if you wanted to, you could pop a cami and this over your shoulders. Um, and then with a travel bag of choice, but this is so, so wonderful. These are super easy to just pull on in the winter time when you get home. And the thing that I will always hammer home is that I like to feel nice and look nice in my cozy clothes because I lose a part of myself when I don't feel like myself. And I've had to sort of understand whether that's perfectionism or what, but no, there's a, a certain element of of feeling nice that makes me more productive and I kind of try to lean into that a little bit more. So when I'm around the house and in my cozy clothes, I still wanna look nice. So I will link all of these items in the description box down below. There's more to come in the video as well that I've packed away to take with me. All will be linked down below with my two discount codes, which are Millen12 and 15Millen. Just use whichever one fits your basket on Lily Silk and shop around as well, because there's so many great pieces on there anyway. They have silk shirt dresses that are so, so good for autumn winter time they look beautiful with tights and boots as much as they look beautiful now as well so I thought I would um show you my first autumn winter shopping <gasps> gorgeous good morning everyone it is now Thursday and it has been an eventful morning in the countryside there's been a bunny caught in the courtyard downstairs which Carrie just rescued and the chickens are proving a little bit interesting today. I think they're just obviously settling in with the two new girls, but yeah, they're being quite sort of noisy today, which they've never been before. Jemima is just, she's just a, in Italian you would say personaggio, or per, I don't think you say, no, person, personaggio. Um, she's just being a very interesting character. And um, 
she's just making lots of noise, which I don't mind. I actually really like the sound of chickens. It makes me feel like I'm actually in the countryside. Usually we can hear the sheep, but today it's all about the chickens. We've already had one egg. I actually think that Gwyneth the poultry is laying her first egg as well, which is really good. However, we are off for an overnight to the Grove in my hometown. I grew up um, in a town next to Watford called Croxy Green. It's kind of like Rickmansworth, uh, Watford area. It's always so lovely to have an excuse to go back and see my hometown because I actually don't go back that often. Um, but it is my brother's birth. Well, it's my brother's birthday yesterday, so we are treating him and his wife to dinner at the Grove and um, drinks and sushi and things like that. So I'm all packed up, ready to go. And I am wearing um, this dress, which is from a small small business on Etsy, um, which I unboxed in my last video. I've got a cashmere jumper from Lily Silk, which I can pop over my shoulders like so. And I need to pack my bag, my fragrance. And for my whole door, I'm actually taking my Lillian Bean um, tote bag because it just fits everything in it. I've got like, I've got two handbags, eight million pairs of shoes, my underwear, swimwear, my Lillian Bean makeup bag with my jewelry and all of those bits in there. So yeah, I'm gonna load up the car now and drive down. I've got some work to do on the way down, but um, should be a very quick and easy trip. Peak bougie chicken dad in his fancy trousers fixing our chicken coop already. Unfortunately, we've got to have some changes made to the gates and uh, he's out here in his fancy Hermes sandals <laughs> fixing it. <laughs> oh dear, but we've had two eggs this morning and now we're ready to leave. But look at how beautiful and in bloom the garden is looking. I did some weeding yesterday, which I need to get rid of, but the hydrangea Annabelle's by the window is just, oh, I think they're my favorite thing. This such a perfect touch to this terrace. have arrived to our room here at the Grove and it's a room that I actually thought I'd stayed in before but I'm guessing I haven't now that we're in here but basically you would have seen that we came and stayed in these rooms a few years ago we're in the mansion rooms the mansion suites here at uh, the Grove and this is my favorite place to stay in um, in a hotel I think when there is a main house that has a bit of history to it I always want to stay in that side of things a lot of hotels nowadays have to expand so that they can cater to more guests there's more sort of revenue there and that kind of thing so there is other areas of the hotel that you can stay but for me I always want to stay here and so when we were invited back I was very very excited so we're in our room there's little touches of green both Ali and Two Yes, very, very nice. But also, babe, you literally look like you are having a photo well, shoot here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just having a Yeah. <laughs> look at him. His, like, his outfit literally just blends in with the entire um, design of the room, basically. What I really like, though, is I feel like they've gone more traditional. Yes, I in, like the art with the different types of trees. I bet you they're trees from the estate yeah, as well. Says... Yeah, I bet they are. Oh, wow, this is good isn't it this big mirror here wow i like this no, i like this is really lovely this is a really nice fabric yes i love this um green linen that they've got here this is so so is lovely so yeah this is what i would say is they've almost gone for a mix of maybe antique furniture or reproduction antique furniture i know i know i know let me get there um but i love this table this makes such a great um entrance hall table but yeah there's sort of a bit of a mix i love the curtains the big oh, really? sash windows so we actually have a different view what par are we looking over here that's the par three ah you need three shots to get it in the hole right but it doesn't look like the golf course is open because there's no flags. Ah. 
Interesting. I tell you what, I need to find out where this mirror is from because this would make the perfect oh, mirror for my dressing room. Because I've got a... What? Well, oh, you're going to search it on Google Images. But yeah, so this is the bed. Beautiful little touches of green in here, green side tables. We have a fireplace. I don't believe it's a working fireplace. Um, but really, really lovely. It's such a lovely feel to it. I love the floor as well. It's, yeah, they've done a really good job and it feels, I would say, more homely than it did before. But the bathroom is a real triumph because look at this bath. That is stunning. What a, what a view, oh my goodness me. Over the sash windows and then they have this beautiful armoire here which is a little linen cupboard where we can hang all of our clothes up. Big shower, big toilet bathroom and in honor of the fact that they have partnered now with Bamford for all of their um, products in the rooms in the spa we have Bamford products so this is geranium lavender and peppermint the mind and no not mind hand and body lotion I mean a mind and body lotion sounds fantastic but no this is the um, hand and body lotion there is also some salts which I would imagine are also Bamford and then the iconic Bamford reed diffusers as well with the sort of bamboo sticks more trees on the walls, beautiful curtains. Oh, I'm so impressed. And these little vistas, there's so much space. It feels so nice and light and airy. Very, very good. Mr. Millen Gordon getting his first video of the trip. When I put my vlogging camera down. <laughs> Right, we are ready to head out and explore and hopefully get a little bit of lunch. Maybe we should get lunch before? No, let's just go out there and explore. And it's going to be a late lunch then. We're going to go explore. So all of the hallways have been refurbished here and I love it. So it used to be really, really dark and it was all covered by um, fabric on the walls. But now they've got all of these beautiful either antique or reproduction antique. This looks antique. Um, furniture everywhere they've gone for a beautiful natural carpet and I actually don't think I've ever been to this staircase here gosh I didn't even know this existed this is beautiful wow you have to get a shot of this babe look at that big window we are finding rooms that I did not know existed here at the Grove my goodness me look how beautiful this is and these windows and the cornice, oh my goodness me. It's fishing. It's. I leave her for five minutes and she's already over there talking to the wedding party I think. <laughs> Look at this place. Nice place for a spot of lunch. Tent even dinner. Ducks having a wild time. Centre stage. Between me and you, I've got a little cheeky joke. Why do ducks have feathers on their tail? To cover their butt crap. There she goes. Elegance. So we are just exploring the gardens and I just had the most bizarre experience ever. So basically, um, my brother is obviously coming this evening to have dinner. We're booked to have sushi in the lounges, but they have this installation here with balloons, which is called Feast. Is it like the, it's, it's something feast, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I was like, oh my God, that would be so special to be able to go there. So I've gone to the front reception and I've asked them to let us know if we can book in and I've missed their call. So I phoned them back and they've misunderstood me and put me through to the restaurant with the balloons. And I'm trying to explain to the lady, I'm like, I'm so sorry, they put me through to you and I'm, I'm literally stood right next to, to your restaurant, but I was just trying to see if I could book in and she was like, oh, well, you can, you can speak to me. I, I think I can see you. I think I can see you. I turned around and I said, I waved at her and she said, what, what, what's your name? And I said, oh, it's Lydia Millen. And she said, oh my God. And uh, she started crying on the phone. I thought I'd upset her. Like, honestly, it was like, I've, I didn't know. You know when you're like Mr. Bean, like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like running over there. And uh, she was crying and I was like, oh my gosh. She's like, I, I'm a really big fan. And so in that moment I was like, oh my gosh, 
thank goodness. But um, sadly, at the moment, they're fully booked, so we may not be able to have dinner there. But if there's a change of plan, if someone cancels, we're kind of holding out for that. But damn it, it's so perfect. It, literally, I'll, I'll show you a picture if I can, or show you a, a little video of, of the space. Because I filmed so... you walking across. Oh, yeah, of course yeah. you did. Of course you did. Yeah, okay. Well, that was me meeting her and her friend because she like rang her friend in tears and uh, he was putting on his shirt ready to come to work and he was like, oh, I thought someone had upset you. I was like, I thought I'd upset. <laughs> it's very funny. Had to be there. We're now exploring the, the, the grounds and the lovely flowers and um, just doing the usual. It's just honestly it's so gorgeous here. Oh, how pretty is that? Big windows. Oh, so lovely. So, so lovely. beautiful and you can just see I don't think you can actually because it's so dark because that's where all the sunshine is but the balloons are just over there we are popping into the stables for a bit, bit of a bite to eat nothing too heavy we're saving ourselves for dinner I love this building it's so pretty just had lunch in the stables such a gorgeous building but time to go <laughs> such a beautiful color it's nothing like your top. Just have a thought. Dimmi amore. It's probably really offensive me walking around with my big hammer to like <laughs> Oh, I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm offended. Oh, there's a wagtail on the path. Are you okay, babe? Are you, are you having I was just a. trying to distract from the. From the toe. <laughs> <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> it's very inconsiderate of you to just have it hanging out like that, to be honest. This is coming, I'll organise this for us. No, you didn't. Ali's trying to style out <laughs> as if he organised this for me because he was like, oh no, let's not get dessert. And we've come back to the room to what looks like the most delicious. Oh my gosh. Is that like cornflakes or something on it? Oh. No. I think there's like fudge on there, white chocolate. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. And we've got, what is this? Champagne. Oh, perfect. Would you like to open that? I don't know. Would you like to open it, Mr. Miller Gordon? What are we celebrating? Evergreen. <laughs> no, screw him. Evergreen. It's all about evergreen now. <laughs> I like it. Why? I've got you a little something for everything. What have you got me? Any camera on. What have you got me? Nothing here. Oh. But I have got you a little something. A little something? When do I get it? I don't know, whenever it arrives. What is it? <laughs> That's why I knew that I should tell you because you can't handle <laughs> secrets. Where did you get it from? I'm not going to tell you. Could be. Could be what? <laughs> Why you and Carrie are exactly the same breed of like human? Obviously, I'm eternally grateful that he's got uh, me something. Me. Shh, don't interrupt me. Can I have this now? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I feel like you are the, the same. Wow, that is a big strawberry to go down in one. Ali and Carrie are the same sadistic human being. They're the type of people that tell you when they have a surprise for you. So they're like, I've got a surprise for you. And you're like, I think just we know how much you can't handle it. Okay, so oh, I need to just learn to get better at it then, don't I? So that I beat you at your own game. Well, do you know what, babe? I don't care. I will wait, when do I get it? Honestly, it's just when it arrives. Oh, so it hasn't arrived yet. When are you thinking it's going to arrive? Just so I can manage my expectations. Next week. Ne next week. Oh, I never get presents. And now I've got one. It's not a present. Is it a pony? Um, no, it is a present. Is it a pony? It's a gift. So, because we've got the dogs, we've got Lumi, we've got the dogs, we've got the chickens, the last missing puzzle, puzzle in the piece. Runner ducks. It's not runner ducks because they said yesterday not to get runner ducks. It's a pony. No, I'm joking. It's probably not because we don't have any space for a pony. Um, unless. Oh, 
Right, hair is down and I am ready for dinner. So we're gonna head downstairs, meet my brother and his uh, wife and head for some drinks before dinner. They've managed to get us a table at Feast on Cloud Nine, which I feel so lucky because, oh my gosh, we, I, I walked outside, I was like, this is perfect. Please tell me you have a table and they didn't. So they've managed to get one. I don't know how they've done this. I am so impressed, but I'm so excited. We just actually met a lovely uh, girl that said she followed me and um, she just had afternoon tea there and she said it was so good. So I'm very, very excited. Right, pack my bag and let's go outfit of the evening is a Hobbs two-piece with my Marcella jacket, my 100-year-old Chanel slingbacks and my Birkin Cellier and my vintage Hermes belt, Susan Kaplan earrings. Let's go. Try, try the beans. <laughs> yeah, they're actually, what bean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. So That's very sweet. It's a lovely evening. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow. Wow. That's like a sausage a sausage <laughs> lobster. A lobster wow. roll. A lobster roll, that's it. That's what I was looking I was for. I'd actually say that's a flying lobster. <laughs> flying. <laughs> wow. Oh, Gosh, it's the cool. Superman of lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a full lobster. Perfect. Deshelled, then rebuilt within the pastry. Lovely. A prawn and tarragon mousse. And we serve this with a cucumber fennel ceviche. Wow. And lobster bisque sauce. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I, can, I can get really bad food poisoning from lobster, but I'm going to go for it because it looks that good. Oh, All right, go for it. So. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 the explosive. Yeah. It'll be up front and back. Oh, Ali! Oh, yeah. That wasn't what I was talking about, but well, okay. a nice bathroom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the moment. Actually, I might, that, I, I, I might be the flying lobster. Can I have that then? Um, with the additional claw, will I cut that into three? Or... Yeah. Yeah. What part do you have? A claw. A claw. But without the pastry, because. Lovely. Uh, That's great. Sorry, oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I've never seen that. We have just finished dinner at, uh, what's the word? Feast on cloud nine. And we've got the, look at that view. Oh my gosh, the food was incredible. And now we're going to finish off the evening in the Grove with another bottle of wine. The, these two are having Where's a whale of a time. <laughs> no. Hello. No. I just know. You just know. <laughs> you, you just didn't. <laughs> I just know, it's because I'm going to wet myself. It's like, I don't know whether to talk or actually get my wee out. Oh, oh look how pretty the, the thing. Are those gargoyles on the top? Wow, it looks so nice at night. Gargoyles? Yeah. Gargoyles. Oh, no, urns. <laughs> Not quite a gargoyle. Okay. <laughs> my mind was a little bit away with me. Good evening, everyone. I have just popped on the most spectacular pair of lily silk pajamas. These are 100% silk, sage green, ivory piping. I think this is 
either. Yeah, these are pearl buttons, beautiful pockets and the most comfortable. I can't even believe the structure on the shoulders. Like these are perfectly tailored to almost like suiting levels. And when I tell you that I feel absolutely wonderful in these, I've got them in every color. I've got them in ivory, red, navy, everything. Because I have never experienced pajamas cut to this perfection. Like look at the cuffs. Look at those cuff details. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm ready for bed though, sorry. <laughs> We've had the most fun evening. We ended up, as I mentioned earlier, being able to get um, a table or a hot air balloon with Feast on Cloud Nine. And it was the perfect place to celebrate my brother's, my brother's birthday like that. We had the most fun. It was funny because he's been fishing for the last few days and he was really tired and I could see where we rocked up that he was tired and then all of a sudden we start laughing and howling and having our usual jokes and before long it's like two in the morning and they're still here and my mum is messaging me like can you send them home I'm tired <laughs> so we've had such a fun evening they were just the best company Ali is now brushing his teeth in um the bathroom he had one of those moments where he went up to the door with it with the key card and he was like Ooh. i think someone had a bit of fun with my brother but they always have such good fun together but yes we're going to bed now we do actually have to be up quite early tomorrow which is a bit of a nightmare we've got a uh, event at blenheim palace which i have a very lovely outfit for but I'm glad that we lived life to the full this evening and um, celebrated with my brother in style. But I want to say a huge thank you to the uh, Feast on Cloud 19 because they hosted us even though I was like fully paying. I was like, no, I, they told me that they'd thrown their card machines in the water. I was like, no, I want to pay for this. Um, but it's such a lovely experience, especially in the English countryside with the hot air balloons, the sun setting, and there was actually a couple that got engaged right in front of us, and Ali went and took pictures for them. Oh, just the best evening. Anyway, I'm gonna get into bed now, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I definitely think I have made the best out of a bad situation. <laughs> Both Ali and I enjoyed ourselves a lot last night, but we had to be up today because we have um, a lunch at Blenheim Palace, and we have to look our best, so, if I can hide the fact that we were up until 2 a.m. Um, and had a few bottles of rosé with my brother and his wife, that is a good thing. So I'll probably look back at this video and be like, Lydia, your eyes give you away. But breakfast has just arrived and oh my gosh, the smell. I did order two breakfasts as well. Ali ordered the scrambled eggs and smoked salmon, which actually looks incredible. That's got caviar on it as well. Yeah, no, you can't go wrong with salmon. And Oh, did you get kombok? Oh no, that's my pancakes. So I've gone for the pancakes and the, I've got the um, compote and the, what's it called? The creme fraiche, I think. And I also went for the eggs benedict as well. Frothy coffee for Ali, juice for Ali. I've gone for a black coffee. This looks spectacular. Oh, I'm literally so hungry. <laughs> Well, we have enjoyed one of the breakfasts. We're now going to share the pancakes. And this is a really lovely experience because obviously we're overlooking a golf course, which means I get the full commentary from Mr. Mill and Gordon of what they're doing. Silence, which... please. He's just about to take a shot. <laughs> he's hit it. Oh, he, that looks a lot better. It's going right, though. He's not going to land on the green. He's hitting a fairway. Oh, oh, he's just off the green. Yeah. So that was, was that not better than the other guys, yeah, though? Better, yeah, because the other guys was really short. Yeah. See, I'm learning. <laughs> my outfit of the day is my new Amelia Wickstead dress, um, and I've popped it with my Marcella London coat. I also have my Arvel hat, which if I pop you here, I can't wear it because I'm gonna be driving, but I will pop it on when I arrive because I just, I just think it's the perfect opportunity. Lunch on the lawn at Blenheim, and I think the hat, because it's like, I don't know, I just think it looks lovely. I've got. Emmy London shoes on, which you probably can't see on the way there. Uh, Emmy London shoes. I wanted to use my mini Kelly, but um, I need to take too much stuff with me. So hat will be put on once we arrive at Blenheim. We're about to check out. We've had 
the loveliest time here at The Grove. Honestly, the food, oh my gosh, this morning, wow. Like breakfast was exemplary. Like seriously, the food is so, so good. So we're going to check out of our newly refurbished mansion room and head to collect our car. Firstly, say thank you very much for all coming. Um, it's amazing to have a hundred friends here today. Um, without you, uh, Gentleman's Journal simply wouldn't exist. Actors, entrepreneurs, friends, musicians, uh, you all make it what it is. And it's an incredible privilege uh, to be able to do this today. I also just want to thank Emma and the whole Blenheim team. She officially hates me in the third year, but with all the changes, everything else, your team have done an amazing, amazing job today, so a big, big thank you. And a toast, a very, very simple, let's party. If you remember, we were here not long ago. Carrie and I came to Clementine's on the lawn and had afternoon tea. And what we actually did was ended up taking the last of our champagne from the afternoon tea and drinking it on the lawn. Well, what you would have seen is the Gents Journal has set up the most beautiful banquet table on the lawn with Blenheim Palace as the background. And we've just been spending the afternoon with some of the loveliest people. And most importantly, we got to spend time with Max Chilton and his partner, Chloe which has just been the absolute dream. I feel like I've like been the biggest fangirl um, finally getting to meet Chloe. We met Max um, at Salon Privé last year and well I met him for the first time but we just had the loveliest day spending it with them. We've just done some pictures with Blenheim Palace in the background and Ali is currently basically racing a, a small Bugatti. It's like a, it's a big Bugatti but it's a small one and they're just driving them around on the lawn but this is probably one of the most chic events I think I've ever attended and Harry has put on such a beautiful event with the best desserts, food, everything was just stunning. Very, very lovely afternoon. We are on our way home and Max is tearing it up <laughs> along Blenheim Palace's grass. Just unbelievable. <laughs> we are following Max Chilton, the racing car driver, and he's living up to his, ne his uh, job title, that's for sure. Dundee <laughs> thing slowly, doesn't No, it? he's wow, just fantastic. Yeah, wow, that yeah, is it's a strong memories of my drone being crashed into that water. Yeah. Under the bridge. I did have permission, I was with them. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful location to have an event. Yeah, stunning. Watch out. Up in the air. Oh, oh old, happy old puppy. Old dog happy old doggo. We are just home from Blenheim and. I have gone straight upstairs and popped on my comfy cashmere set from Lily Silk. That is Mr. Millen Gordon dropping off my bits from the car. Um, but yeah, I came straight upstairs to get changed because we are having a cozy, chilled weekend, just the two of us, because there is supposed to be a storm hitting the UK uh, either tonight or tonight and tomorrow. So we've basically said cozy evening in front of the fire with the dogs and Lumi. I'm gonna go out and see the chickens, but I had to show you how beautiful this pair of cashmere trousers are. These are from Lily Silk, the perfect length and high-waisted. I've popped them with just a little cami, but I'm actually gonna pop on a matching cashmere jumper. When anyone asks me, Lydia, do you wear tracksuit bottoms? I wear tracksuit bottoms if they're cashmere. Um, these are so gorgeous, even with the pleats down the front, they're so, so elegant, and they are also the perfect cut, like, so pretty, so I'm gonna pop on the jumper to finish the look and I'm gonna head out to see the chickens. I'm also popping this on. This is a gorgeous, really, really nice, lightweight um, cable knit cashmere jumper. And this is perfect for like wrapping around your shoulders if you're the type of person that gets cold quite easily, um, but also amazing for just tucking in to some very, very beautiful <laughs> Cashmere trousers, just like this. <laughs> 
And for me, they always create the best shape when they're high-waisted like this. They also have pockets. Oh, this is the coziest of them all. I'm so, so smart, but I'd be really happy. I'd actually wear this out. A sort of oatmeal overcoat or something like that. And maybe like a bun, beautiful bag. I think this could work, you know. Maybe some loafers. Obviously, you'd have to smooth down the little lumps and bumps, but uh, yeah, I love this. I'm gonna have a cozy, cozy evening. Pop my hair up, I think. Ah, oh, the perfect cozy afternoon outfit, I think. <laughs> Just to show you it in the mirror. Love this so much.